Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shayla Michelle. I'm actually here with another haul. Um, these are some uh, refills that I recently purchased from Sephora. So this is kind of like my Sephora favorites. Um, some things you can actually purchase from the actual website of the actual brand. And those um, you can just purchase from Sephora. I find it very convenient to just purchase from Sephora because they do have the return policy. So I can kind of just walk in. Um, exchange what it is that I need and then walk back out um, but I have been ordering online for the most part you know <laughs> part of the situation and I want to share each product and kind of show you guys how I use them during my makeup process so well, right first now, things first this is what I actually start off with which is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme so I actually got this from um, as we all know her Miss Aaliyah J, um, years ago, she used to take the lip injection. I don't know if she still does it now, but I know she used to. Uh, she used to take this and she would put this on, you know, while she's getting ready. And it gives it that time to kind of plump up her lips. This does tingle just a little bit. So they come in the large size, the actual size, and then they come in the um, travel size. This, I believe, is like $12, and this one is like $24 or something like that, or maybe $26. But I'm going to link each product below, and yeah, but this is how mine look now, as you can see. Lip injection. Pretty empty. <laughs> but this is how it normally comes and this is the full size bottle focus okay lip inject injection string extreme so they come in different colors um which is convenient if you want a tint but like i said i only use this at the beginning of my makeup so i literally put this on while i'm doing my full face um i don't pretty much <laughs> do anything else with it i don't normally wear it out the house i don't wear uh yeah i just i don't wear it out the house i don't mix it with anything this is literally what i use it for that's it that's that's exactly why sometimes i just get the little travel size because i don't use it for anything mostly except for just to kind of like pump up my lips get my lips ready to take on some matte uh lipstick because that's normally what i wear so I like to hydrate my lips. That way I don't have a dry surface when I'm getting ready to apply my actual lip product. Yes. Caffeine solution. And I actually bought two bottles. So I actually put my mom on as well. But I pulled that out pretty ugly. But this is the caffeine solution by The Ordinary. Um, this particular product actually reduces, um, as you can see. There you go. So the caffeine solution actually uh, reduces appearance of eye contour and pigmentation of puffiness. So I normally use this in the morning um, or if I'm about to put on makeup or anything. This is what I do. Just put like a small amount. You really do not need a lot. Like this is already too much if you ask me. Put it on like it's a little teardrop. And just rub in with my fingers. And mind you, I, these are clean fingers. So I find that it works. Um, because recently I have not been using it. And I can kind of tell. Like when I'm wearing like a natural face. That it's a little dark under underneath my eye. Or it seems like I'm like super tired and puffy underneath. So I had to give me some more another product that i did recently purchase so this is the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder and this is actually in the color deep um medium deep actually used it purchased it loved it kept it okay that's just how that went <laughs> that's how that went jackie anna probably was the one that sold me on this one so I, she used it all the time and she would use it to kind of like blot her face, go over her face to make sure that, you know, nothing seeps through like any oils or anything. So just kind of like this. So this is how she normally uses, uses it. And I was already using the translucent color. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to 
try out a travel size and see if I like it. So this is that same travel size that I tried out. And that travel size actually I used for about a year. And I'm just now running out of it. I literally use it for this and I use it to clean up uh, under my contour. So now I am using another Sephora favorite, which I have purchased from the website as well. This is the NARS Matte Foundation. As you can see, my bottle is pretty dirty, uh, but this is my jam. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation, and I always mix it with the, um, the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So I love the Natural Radiant Longwear. So I mix the both of them as far as my foundation goes and just blend. Okay, so I have now completed my eyes um, and I actually use a palette that is no longer um, available. So I didn't want to include that, um, but I am going to go ahead and include um, the um, part portion of my eyes that I am going to like make it pop. So I have several Marc Jacobs um, sequin glitter. She just purchased a new one in like a white glaze. Almost kind of like a, what do they call it? They call it flashlight. So it is, to me, it is exactly what I explained it as, as a white glaze. Like it looks like really white, snowy, um, going to be really shiny. So you're going to watch me put that on. These are actually on sale. They have other colors that are still available. Um, for example, they actually have <coughs> one of my favorites on sale. This is it. It's called Copperazzi. That one is on sale, I believe, for like $15. I have had this for a really long time. And I love this. Like, this is a really easy way to get a nice... Uh, glam look without having to do the most so i'm actually gonna just pat the sequin glitter on like that literally the look for the eyes go ahead and get a re-up of this this is the fenty beauty match stick in the color espresso so I, I actually don't need this as of right now, but I literally have maybe this much left of the other stick. And it probably will last me for maybe like, maybe a month or something. But I like to kind of be prepared because sometimes I'll, I'll be like super last minute not realizing that I don't have, you know, enough product. And I like for mine to look soft like this. So this is coming out really wonderful. But as you can see, like, look at this concealer, like the matchsticks, bum. Like I am now going to go ahead and take my same Laura Mercier, the translucent, but this is going to be just the translucent powder. This is not the medium deep. This is the, uh, yeah, just a translucent. That's what they call it. The translucent powder. My Laura Mercier in the color medium deep again and clear a line with this contour at the bottom give me a clean finish now I have pretty much completed my entire face um, it has been set it has been misted um, I've done pretty much everything. The only thing that is left is for my lips. Now, as you can see, at the end of me doing my entire face, I did have the um, <clears throat> the Too Faced lip injection on my lips. So now it's just moist enough to where I'm ready to put on my actual lipstick. Now, in this case, which is why I actually wear it, because... 
it's not going to stay glossy by the time that you're ready to go ahead and put on your actual lipstick. So now that my lips are completely lined, you're going to take the last Sephora favorite. Now this particular one I have not used as of yet. I have used the product, but I have not used this particular um, formula. So this is the Fenty Beauty um, Cream Gloss Balm in the color... Fenty Glow, the number two. So this is like a pinkish, nudish looking color. And mm, this, this is a very light coverage. Like it is really creamy, but very light coverage. Like the other Fenty um, gloss bombs, those are pretty, those are a little bit thicker. So this is cute or whatever but i feel like the color got changed it got lost in the brown gloss i mean the brown liner i think the next time i do that i probably need to put like a pinky nude um color underneath and then make that happen but this isn't bad now i'm not sure if y'all know we wear masks so i think it wasn't the smartest move to put out gloss bombs because where are you wearing them to nobody wants gloss on their lips unfortunately really got lost so i'm going to go back in with my same lip liner try this again Yeah, definitely coated with some type of pinky nude um, lipstick. This looks way better. So, of course, I'm pleased because these are like my regular. This is my thing. These are my products. These are going to always give me this, this freaking beautiful outcome. So, um, yeah, like... Y'all, the ones that I have provided to you, I've, I've told you, like, as far as my refills go, um, as far as the, those products that I purchased from Sephora, those are literally my favorites. Like, absolutely, uh, absolute favorites. I have never gone wrong with those products. I have probably been using those same products for the last few years, actually. <clears throat> maybe the last two years okay guys so this is the final look this is the outcome of all of my sephora favorites the ones that i have um recently purchased this came out super cute i'm really super happy about my hair though we're not gonna talk about that but i am really happy really happy with the outcome i hope you guys like this sephora favorites video if you would like to see more like this, some of the things that I normally use on the daily basis um, or why I use them, things of that sort, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and make sure that you come back to my channel. And that is all. Bye, guys.